All right, so any student who appears for CSR net exam or who attempts this CSR net exam, generally they come across three major challenges, three major uh, problems which they face during the exam time. The first one is time management, how much time they should give to a particular question uh, because you have limited amount of time, you have a lot of questions to do. So in that case, there are high chances that you waste more time on a question and you don't get the time later on to solve the rest of them, right? So that is the first thing. Second thing is that they skip a question, like after coming out from the exam center, uh, like when the students or the when the friends and uh, when you see the solutions and all on the YouTube, then you see that, okay, this question was there on the question paper, I didn't even saw it. That's because you skipped it by mistake and these things are very common when you give online exam where you don't have paper and pen and where you don't have physical question paper in front of you. So chances of skipping is, is quite common. Then the third thing is that uh, like you don't able to see the questions like all the questions uh, within the exam time. Like what happens that uh, your time just ends up and you are not even able to see the question, complete question paper. Uh, last five or six or ten questions are uh, like they they are not, uh, like you didn't even saw them. So uh, it might happen that those were easier questions and you were you will like you were about to do them but because of the time constraint again the thing the time management comes over here so because of that time constraint you are not able to uh, see those questions and you end up losing the marks over there or you are you end up just ignoring those questions right so here i am bringing a technique which i have already discussed in my previous video the last time when csi net exam happened i made this video uh, but I have just made few changes in that technique and I'm going to share it with you. Last time a lot of people got uh, like benefited with it. I got very good response in the comment section over there. And I hope if you apply this technique in your exam, you will also get good result out of it. Okay. So this technique is called three cycle technique. In this uh, technique, we don't solve the question paper in a trivial manner in which we see a question and we solve that question. We don't do like that. In this, we uh, do the whole exam in three cycles, okay? So I'm not talking about part A over here. I'm just excluding part A over here because part A is aptitude section and that is something which you can just ignore. I'm talking about the subject oriented portion over here, okay? So uh, I will just consider those 20 minutes or 30 minutes for of part A separate. Out of that, you have around two and a half hours for your exam, okay? So considering that two and a half hours, I'm going to tell you that how much time and how you have to uh, like how you have to go through this uh, three uh, cycle technique. Okay, so the first cycle is something in which you are going to see the complete question paper. See, part B contains 40 questions. In that 40 questions, you only have to do 35 questions out of them. And part C contains 60 questions. Out of those 60 questions, you have to do 25 questions out of them. Now, what people generally do is they just start especially in part B you don't feel that much problem because like 90% of questions you have to actually do out of 40 35 you have to do but in part C the problem comes because out of 60 you only have to do 25 which is roughly around uh, 30 to 40 percent of your question uh, like of the section so their problem comes that which 25 you have to choose actually and you have to answer in the exam so that those can be evaluated okay remember that if you do more than 25 in part C uh, 26th question will not be get evaluated so first 25 will only get evaluated these things I guess you are quite aware about now the thing is that choosing these 25 questions becomes very difficult and it becomes more difficult if you will not see the complete 60 questions okay so that's where the first cycle comes in the first cycle what we are going to do we are going to see each and every question in a hurry okay in a hurry means we will just do everything in 30 minutes let's say so for the first 30 minutes like you will do part a or whatever time you have kept for part a at the end let let it be but what you have to do is you have to give 30 minutes for the first cycle in this first cycle you are just going to see part B and part C questions, okay? So you are just going to see those questions. You are just going to look at the question, read the question. And if you are able to answer it in just like, if it is just like some question from bio and organic chemistry or a question which is very straightforward, you know the answer of it, just tick that answer and go to the next. You don't have to waste time over here. What you are currently doing is you are just uh, going through the whole question paper, okay? You are not wasting time over here on a particular question. Sometimes it will tempt you, a question will look very easy and you will think that, okay, wait, 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 I will try to solve it here itself. But no, don't get tempted out of it. That will be the first category of question which you have to do. Just see that question. If you are able to answer it, take it out, means answer it out and go to the next question. There might be some questions which you see 
which will be tempting means you will see them and you will think that yes this is the question i know the answer of it if i will give a little bit of time if i will try to solve it if i will give a you know if i will just uh, wait for it if i will just do some calculation i'll be able to do it so that is your uh, that is the second type of question or that is the tempting type of question those questions you have, don't have to do in the first cycle you have to just mark it for review okay just mark it because these are some advantages of online uh, of giving paper online and these are some ways how you can effectively use those tools like mark for review is there then uh, like marked uh, like answered questions and unanswered questions so you have all that color code on the screen uh, you will be able to like once the paper comes once the exam starts before that you can read about the instruction over there all these things will be there okay so you can understand the colors and all but yeah uh, so these were the second type of question where you have to just don't get tempted out of it in the first cycle in the first cycle of 30 minutes what you have to do is you have to read the question if you know the answer take it go to the next if the question appears to be that you know it just mark it for review and go to the next so what is the benefit of it first benefit is that in these 30 minutes you will be able to do those straightforward questions which you know the answer of okay you are not going to waste time on it you are actually doing those questions which you know the answer of second benefit is that you are actually looking on a whole question paper you will see the complete question paper in that way you are not going to miss out any question okay you will you will be aware about that what types of questions are asked what is the level of exam and now your confidence will come. so sometimes in the trivial method in the usual method if you go for the first question unfortunately let's say the question is difficult and you are not able to answer it you go to the next question again that question also you don't know then again your confidence is going to go low uh, because the next question you don't know right so every time the question comes which you don't know your confidence will go low and that happens in a trivial method but here in this first cycle technique or the three cycle technique in the first cycle when you are looking on all the questions you will gain that confidence that okay for question number one two three i don't know but fourth one i know sixth one i know eighth one i know or like that okay so you will be aware about that which questions you actually know and in that way you will gain your confidence okay that 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 will give a lot of confidence for the rest of the time of your exam and that exactly is going to reflect in your result as well remember confidence plays very important role in the exam uh, like 90 percent of the thing uh, during the exam time is done by the confidence and how you are approaching to the question uh, like many students they prepare well they know much they have a lot of knowledge of the subject but in the exam just because they become panic or just because they lose their confidence that affects their result as well so that's why building confidence is entirely important as solving question is so yeah this was about the first cycle now you have to go to the second round or the second cycle in this cycle what you have to do is you have to go for those questions which were tempting i told you earlier those questions which you think that yes these questions are easy i can do them I, if I give a little bit of time now you have time give that time to it okay so since half an hour you have already given now you can give one and a half hour or 90 minutes to it for part B and part C both I am telling okay so you can give 90 minutes for those questions because earlier in the first 30 minutes you already have done let's say 10 or 15 questions or let's say 10 questions only you have done in that particular uh, 30 minutes now next 90 minutes you can give uh, like you can give that time and you can do those questions and because you have already already read the question so you don't have to waste extra time on reading that again now you know the question now you just have to solve it because you have already marked for review in your mind you might have solved it halfway so that makes it easy for you to uh, like you know to utilize the time and in that way you will be able to do more questions than earlier like with the trivial method if you go in that way you might do less number of questions but in this uh, second cycle you will be able to do more number of questions now right so once this second cycle ends now what you have done till now you have done in the first cycle you have seen complete question paper you have built up your confidence and that confidence is now helping you in your second cycle to completely or to do those questions carefully do with full confidence and when you do the question with confidence you are tempt to make less mistakes you don't make mistakes over there and in that way your answers are much correct your formulas are much correct whatever the concept you are applying are much accurate and in that way your performance also boost up a little bit and the last 30 minutes if it if the time permits okay so you can uh, totally dedicate the rest of the time for second cycle itself and you can end the paper on first and second cycle third cycle is optional the third cycle only comes if you are left out with uh, last 
20 minutes or 30 minutes so if you have that extra time now you can give that time to those advanced question which you have not seen of those questions which are totally new and if you have not uh, like till now if you have not been able to do 25 questions in part c you need one or two more questions to complete that 25 section or 25 questions in part c or the number of questions if you want to increase in part b then you can give that time to that particular uh, to those particular questions in this way uh, giving the last time to this particular question will because you have already warmed up your mind you already have a lot of things in your head you have already recalled a lot of formulas during your second cycle so the third cycle might help you to do to do those questions also which you might not have solved or which were not uh, like easy which were not easy looking in the first run but in the last cycle you might be able to do them so i just wanted to make this video before the exam i just actually wanted to make this video few days back but i just i don't know how i forgot to make this video but yeah because you have one day left for the exam and it's high time to make your strategies and all for the exam perspective so that's why i thought to make this video and to uh, inform you all about these three cycle technique and uh, this has helped a lot of students and i'm quite sure it will help you as well think about it and just think that uh, how this technique is actually working and if you think that it is going to help you do apply it in your, your exam as well so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care